Hello everybody, this is Lena Savström for AETatsPlus.com and today I'm going to show you how to add some extra flavor to your footage. Now, I've been out filming this birdhouse as you can see here and I thought I'd make something fun with it. Let me show you the result. I've added some colored filters, a dark vignette around it and a speech bubble with an analog effect to it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is a new project, a new composition, 1050 times 576 pixels, and we're going to make it 5 seconds long. Double click for the film footage, there it is, then drag it down to the composition. Then we're going to have an adjustment layer where we collect all the filters, that gives a nice little overview. So the first filter is called Ramp, drag it onto the adjustment layer, pick a reddish color and a greenish color. Blend with the original, 10%. Next preset is Calculations. And here by the second layer opacity, we're going to write 90%. Take off this box. Blending mode, overlay. We're also going to have auto contrast. Now, the colors are quite strong here, so I'm going to take down the transparency on the film footage, T, to 75%. Yeah, I like that. Now I'm going to import the speech bubble that I've done in Illustrator and not to confuse it with the other composition, we're going to make a separate composition to it. Import as Composition. There it is. So I've done three different versions of the speech bubble and then we're going to put them after each other so it's going to be this hand-drawn like loop. I'm going to cut them off so I use Command then right arrow, one, two, three, four, five times. Then mark them all, shift command D to cut them off in the end, and delete. Now I want them after each other, so with shift and then pull, they're gonna lock right after each other. Then I mark them all and press command C, command D, and then just make it into a big loop all the way down the timeline. So just repeat the steps of Command-C, Command-D, the copy and paste, then drag it down right after each other. There we go. Awesome, let's drag this composition down to the others. Now this takes a bit of tweaking. First off though, I'll lock these two layers. We want to change the anchor point of the speech bubble to give it a little weight when it falls out of the hole with the anchor point tool, which is this one. Here's the anchor point and just put it somewhere here. Perfect. Then back to the arrow. So we're going to scale it, which is S, from 5% in the beginning, make a keyframe. Go forward in the timeline to one second and put in 120%. Time for a little preview. I cut out the rendering time so don't worry if it takes longer for you to preview. I want the speech bubble to rotate a little as well so press R for rotation. It's gonna kind of pop out of the birdhouse. Maybe that looks good. That'll do. It should probably land a little bit softer, so mark the two keyframes and right click. Choose Keyframe Assistant and ECEs. That's nice. Actually, I want the scaling to happen at the same time as the rotation, 
So I move the scale keyframe a little bit back. We can add ACs on the scaling as well. I want to change it a little bit closer to the birdhouse though. Here. Don't forget to save guys. Now add the text to it. That also should be in a separate composition. Import kind, composition. Click on it and same procedure as last time. We go marking them all. Command, then right arrow, five times. Then shift, command, D to cut them off in the end. Delete. There we are. So hold in shift and then pull the piece to the right and it's gonna lock after the other. Do it again. Don't forget to save once in a while. Nice stuff. Let's drag it down in the composition as well. We want it inside a bubble. Maybe a bit of rotation there. Let's go for minus 12. Then parent the text with the speech bubble so they can hang with each other. Awesome. I want another text as well on the side here as a little title. So new text breakfast. Command C, Command D to copy. Shift and arrow down to move it down a bit. Club. Okay, I want some rotation on both. R. And I want an egg to go along. Double click and here my friends, I prepared an egg. Let's scale it down a little, holding shift to keep it proportional. Tweaking, tweaking, tweaking. I want a bit of shadow on the text too. Type in drop shadow and add to the text. Opacity 20%. Softness 20%. Now just copy paste the shadow to the other ones. The egg can have one too. Okay, so I want this title to float around a little in the footage. So I'm going to do some motion tracking here. First off, add a null object. Then we're going to track the motions of the footage to it. Then we're going to change the window to motion tracking, which you'll find under the window tab.
You need to unlock the footage again by clicking on the lock button on the side. Press track motion to the footage file. We need to find a good and clear spot to track the motion on. I think here will be good. Then make the boxes a little bit bigger. That was the position point. Now click on the rotation button. These two should be far away from each other. Make the boxes a bit bigger here too. Then press the play button down here. Now it's tracking the movements. Then hit apply. Apply dimensions X and Y. OK. Back to the standard workspace. All panels. Done deal! Let's parent the breakfast club and the egg with the null object and preview! It's hanging around there, I like that. The two last things to just set up is a white solid on the side. Pick white. Make it smaller. Transparency T. 10%. The other one is a black vignette, so a new solid. Make it black, then choose the Eclipse tool. Cover the whole area. Then click Invert. Mask Feather will be 200 pixels. Hmm, I think the breakfast title needs to be a bit moved. There we go. And we're done.